right, well, I'm back. Dr. Gordon <laughs> here with Linda for Facebook Friday, Finally coming at you from Southeast Facility. It's Facebook Friday, and Fourth of, 4th of July, July edition. And that's right, yes. we're going to sing the Star Spangled Banner because no. it's the, the <laughs> easiest song to sing yeah, yeah. in the songbook. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, say can you? We're going to sing. Okay, all right. I'm sing. That's right. Well, we respect our flags here. Yes. So we'll put them somewhere nice. safe. Okay, or I'll put them over here. Okay. There. All right, yeah. well. Here we are, and this is this is the view that the patient lines have of me when they're sitting at that side of the desk, yes. right? They see, mm -hmm. they see, and so this is evidence. The photos on my wall are if you take two thousand photos with your iPhone, you get about twenty good ones, and then you can <laughs> upload them to art.com and print them out. And people think, yeah, oh, he's such a good photographer. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> even a blo even a broken clock is correct twice a day. Yes, it is. Right. So you just take those pictures. But anyway, so here we are. So. Um, it is the 4th of July weekend, and I can't believe that we're already here in July. I know. Can you believe it? I mean, we're, it's incredible. It's the summer, right? It's, it's just incredible that, that we are already past the longest day of the year, summer solstice, and now days are starting to get shorter, sadly, but still a lot of summer left, and here we are, 4th of July, and I can't believe that it's going to be nice tomorrow. We're hoping to have yeah. like a little picnic It'll for the staff yeah, and it yeah. be nice weather, so that'd be good. So mm -hmm. you know, I can't believe that either. So I also I can't believe that last night, okay, we were we we're dining out, okay. not here in Knoxville, but somewhere sort of between here and, and um, in Nashville, and um, we were eating at this restaurant and Suzanne and I were walking the dogs, okay, mm -hmm. and this animal comes out of the bushes sort of right beside this creek, okay, and starts walking towards us, and Sam's like, oh my gosh, Dad, what is that thing? Okay, and at first, I thought it was a possum, mm -hmm. so it has long tails, right? Mm -hmm. So this animal had a long tail, it had a long nose, it was like the size of a large cat. You know what it was? It had armor plating on it. Armadillo? It was an armadillo. Oh, okay, man. Armadillo. I was like, well, I didn't know the armadillos were in Tennessee. No, I, I didn't know that. From they're a zoo. No, they're they're are, are they? Oh my gosh, it was like the craziest yes. looking thing. And it started coming towards us and the dogs. And so I was like, oh my gosh, Dad. <laughs> She's like, can I touch that? I go, no, you cannot touch the armadillo. It's a wild so, animal. That's right. So, what do, and this is one of those things that Allison drives. She had driver crazy because I always point this out. What disease is carried in the toe pads of the seven striped armadillo? I have no idea. Mark? Uh, I boy, I don't even want to hazard a guess. Uh, leprosy. Leprosy, yeah, really? Leprosy, the toe pads of the armadillo. So if you see armadillo, don't <laughs> don't touch its toe pads. <laughs> you touch the other party. Yeah, ah, so. Or anything I mean, else. <laughs> I mean, maybe if they're bred in captivity, it wouldn't be a problem. You can but I guess it up the and wild. It that's right. To, uh, so that's right. Arizona or something. That's right. So if you Thanks. start, you know, so don't touch the toe pads of the armadillo. <laughs> Allison said, you know how many times you told me that in our marriage? Like, well, I'm saying, <laughs> I just want the point to get across, don't touch the topaz and armadillo, okay? So can you believe that I saw an armadillo here in Tennessee? No. I mean, I already put you in Texas. No, that's, right? that's surprising. Isn't that crazy, right? I yeah. I think it was like, about a year ago. I thought it was a giant rat. rat. I mean, it was like, yeah. you know, it's, it's huge. huge. You, there's nothing that looks like an armadillo, right? Yeah. I mean, you no. just, you know that. It's an armadillo, right? Well, Carol right. said when she lived in Memphis, that sometimes they would see them where they would like climb in trucks or something and oh, really? be, you know, people would come to, wow. you know, so they basically transplant oh. themselves, but a good never eaten? heard of one. A good eaten? <laughs> no. Possum pie? It's, it's, it's Squirrel pie? It's hard to get past Armadillo pie? the armor. <laughs> that's because they must be really tasty. Be. That's why you have the arm wrong because they're so tasty. <laughs> Otherwise, everybody would eat them. Except for the leprosy. All right, all right. So what are, what are except for the leprosy? Don't eat the toes. Don't eat the toes. Okay, so what other things are they talking about? Oh, dear. Is, is it difficult to believe? Okay, so I can't believe things that, that I can't are hard believe to believe. It's not better. Okay, so Dr. Gordon is here. So that's going to be my first I thing. I can't believe Dr. Gordon is here. Okay, like reasonably sure that Dr. Gordon was going to show up for Facebook Friday, right? I heard that one. Reasonably sure. And, well, but why should I come? I mean, when your numbers are no, always no, no, like, no. Like, like, like like order two orders of magnitude <laughs> higher when I'm not on Facebook Friday. Yeah, you're not going to Tom Sawyer. It's us. me. It's me. I 
think that's right. You're not going to start painting the fence. Listen to Aunt Polly. Listen to Aunt Polly. <laughs> you know? All right. Okay. So, just for those who can't believe it, I'm actually here with you today. So, all right. That's right. He really all right. is. Okay. Yeah. So He's here. here. He's here. <laughs> okay. All right. So, we had a very nice email uh, from a couple who had been through a lot of treatments, and they said that we can't believe just how nice Edward is here. And they had been to to multitude of fertility practices, including some big name places, Cornell, CCRM, some of the other places Not that, that people know. Not that we would know. mention the names. No, no, but, you know, I'm just saying. I'm just, I didn't say their names. I was not okay. saying, so, you know. No, but in Cornell, I mean, you know, I mean, Cornell, it is what it is, right? I'm just saying. <laughs> You don't want to, I don't want to practice this that way, right? You want somebody to say, this is so different, right? So different is good. And it, well, one thing I said, just how nice everybody was. So, you know, and we do have wonderful people, you know, just really, really great staff. And, you know, you just can't, you know, there's no substitute for that, right? I mean, nobody, does anybody want to be here? No. No, I mean, not you have to be here. You have to I was say, to I the like patients, my job. Like, Thank I know. you. The patients. <laughs> oh, no. 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 <laughs> no. Like, Sorry. Who I, wants to go I, see a fertility doctor? Right? Right? You don't sit around and sit there and like, well, should we watch something on Netflix or should we go to the fertility clinic? I mean, yeah. you, you don't want to you don't want have this problem. Of course not. Right? We understand that. Right. So the least you can do is to, to make it as best an experience you get. Exactly. Right? Why why be mean when you can be nice? Right? That's right. Other patients have been I may not surprised. Have gotten sleep last night. <laughs> okay, that they they can't believe that we do natural cycle IVF. I said, wow. I mean, but what drugs do you use? I'm like, we are you trigger shot? Drugs? Trigger shot only. They're like, but but I take all the other shots. I'm like, no. Then what do I do with the extra embryo? I said, but there aren't any because. You just don't have the one egg, right? You're, well, no, we don't. You know, you get to, but, but but still, I'm just saying, you know. But they said, well, but we can't imagine you do it. And they said, then they called some other clinic and they said, well, we do it, but it costs the same as the regular IVF, so you might as well just do the regular IVF. Which I mean, that's I, I would say I would agree, right? I mean, why you, you it shouldn't be sort of the same price because we know it's a different animal. You're just going yeah. after one egg, get in, get out, that's it, and you know, Carol's. And Sarah and Julie's amount of work will be more to reduce because just yeah. we know it's just the one egg. Yeah. But they were like, "You really do it. You really do it. You're not just saying it." I said, "No, we really, <laughs> really offer it." So they were just really just amazed. They said, "I can't believe that you really do that." Okay. Um, you can't. Is that you? He can't ah. read his writing. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> I can't believe that Doctor Gordon can't read his own writing. <laughs> yeah, that's right. right. All right. Get the bifocals. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So then this other page said, "I can't believe." You listen to the patient. That was sort of a sad commentary. So I said, that, that I can't believe that you listen to the patients. I that's was like, sad. wow. I said, that's just awful. I said, what do you mean by that? I said, well, because we went to the clinic, we said, listen, you know, we're just, we're just a little bit freaked out about, you know, possibly creating embryos that we won't come back and use. And they just sort of laughed at us and said, well, that's just the protocol here. You just have to fertilize all the eggs. And I'm like, well, do they know that you were concerned? Oh, yeah. But they just said, that's our protocol. Wherever you get, you have to fertilize. And I was like, what about freezing extra eggs? What about doing mini IVF? What about your natural cycle IVF? I like, nope, know this is the way we do it. You just have to do it, or you can just hit the road. And so they, they came here. And they were so like, they hit the road. yeah, they hit the road. But they were, you know, they were hours away, you know? And I yeah. felt bad. They were just hours away. And I said, I, I'm sorry, you know, but they, you know, a lot of patients have come from, from outside town, and you know, not just the NDC patients, but even for, for IVF, and have, you know, stayed here. It's lovely. The Smokies are close by. You know, number one visited national park in the country, right? So right. it's all good. So, but they were just like, well, we just can't believe that you're you're actually listening to us, at least discussing this as as that you believe that it's fine to have this concern. And I said, no, I, I think it's totally appropriate. I said, I'm just sorry that that was. That that was the issue that 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 you you felt sort of just dissed on, you know, that you just, yeah. like, just ignored it, right? Okay, that's All a right. huge issue. Yeah, I mean, we've had Facebook Fridays about that. Didn't yeah. We? All right. Okay. Plus, okay. Number five. Okay. That you see the doctor. I can't <laughs> believe that you see the doctor. 
I mean, not on Fridays when I'm not here. <laughs> but both times, so, so that's that was a, that was a big deal, and yeah. I think that that's um. And I will say that that there's one thing that that for those 20 years in Washington D.C. That, that we really strove to have hands on to see the patients do their scan, and I think that now D.C. patients being what they are, sometimes they have a different perspective of being seen by the doctor. So I had one time a patient just said, I just can't believe it. I, I just didn't see a doctor the entire IVF cycle. I'm like, what do you mean? So well, I'm just telling you, I just didn't see you. I said, wait a second. Let, let's look at, you had seven ultrasounds. I did five. Dr. DiMatina did one. The nurse did one. She only had the nurse did one. I said, wait, are you, but that's not the same as saying I never saw the doctor. I said, we're <laughs> saying that like six out of the seven ultrasounds were done by a doctor. Five of those six were done by your doctor. I said, well, I just don't understand why I saw the nurse. I'm like, but, you know, because you came in at 6.30 and, you know, <laughs> we're here. I mean, so it, I will, this, but East Tennessee patients tend to be a little bit different than Washington, D.C. patients. It's believe like it or not. And, and, having been just, and having been just back around the belt, which, you know, when we went up to see the, the grandchild, Google Maps rooted us. Traffic is so bad. That's where I was driving last Friday. Traffic was so bad. Now, if you're a geographer, you go up 81, then normally you cut across 66, and you go in through Manassas to Washington, D.C., you go around the Beltway, and you go up like Route 270. Okay. okay. Traffic was so bad doing that, that that Google Maps had us go all the way up Route 81 to Winchester, Virginia, cut across to Frederick, Maryland, and then stay on Route 70 toward Baltimore. To avoid the entire beltway, because the entire belt was so Goodness locked gracious. down that you know that was sixty plus more miles that night. It had us getting there half an hour earlier. <laughs> wow. That's how bad traffic wow. was. That's how bad traffic was on a Friday. Uh-huh. Jeez. You I just could not live in the city. So you imagine like if that's what you're dealing with every day. I mean you come to the fertility practice, you're already unhappy. You're stressed <laughs> out. You've been in traffic all day long. And then you're going to see this fertility right? You say, yeah, I, you know, I didn't see the doctor one day. I'm not happy about it, right? You're not happy about all of it, right? I mean, that's that, that's true, right? So, yeah. Okay. And then, um, and I guess that, that the final thing I say is uh, as we close in on a two-year anniversary, I can't believe mm-hmm. we're here. Mm-hmm. You know, that Alice and I are just, you know, we're just so happy to be part of this family. To be part of the South. He's in family. God's country now. In God's country, and you know, and, and and what a great to have such a great staff, and you know the things that we've done. I think about you know sort of two years when we started, and some of the things that we had hoped to to do and to build upon. You know, with what our Keenan had laid down as a great foundation, and uh, you know, do some other things, and just it's been it's been very gratifying. And you know, just to be able to do that, to be participating with the ADC, and we're just doing a. Little video thing yesterday, and just it's all been so great. So it's all been good. We're glad to have you. That's We're good. glad you're here. That's great. So Was that good. your last one? That's, yeah, do you have one? I have one. Ooh, okay. You'll have to find that again. I'm not coordinating yeah. right now. Oh boy. Very funny. That's what right. Yeah, that's right. I can't believe we can read the doctor's writing. It, right. Because it does it, good. Yeah, it was good. That's right. Well, most days I can I, I have I have taken to dictating Dr. Keenan dictates everything, you know, and I, I have taken to dictating some of the you know, certainly my new patient notes. But uh, <laughs> it's a little daily. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. May I quote a book? <laughs> Your writing is good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Yeah. yeah. I can read you. But what you're saying here is that it's like reading Sanskrit, right? You say, we can't believe that we can now read Dr. Gordon's writing. Is that what you're saying? It didn't take that long. It didn't take that long. Okay. It didn't well, take that's that good. Because, you know, when Allison comes in and helps out with, like, some of the data entry, she it, is not She gives him not a happy, hard time. She's not happy about it. Because she's an engineer. And they had to do, like, that drafting class where you learn how to precisely... It looks like a typewriter. Yes. You know, her print looks like a typewriter. I had one resident when I worked at mm-hmm. UT that that was her writing. 
she said on the car next door they took calipers and did like that and it was all the same height. Wow. And it was a resident. Wow. But she was trained to something. I don't know. Like, something, something. I, I don't know why she wrote like yeah, that, but it, I mean, it looked like she typed it. Well, OCD is what. Yeah. <laughs> We're used to reading Dr. Child, Gordon's voice texts. Use, you know? Or no, yeah. Dr. Keenan's voice texts. If you can read, if you can make sense of Dr. Keenan's voice texts, we can read your writing. Yeah, well, since I have my cheek to drive, instead of my cheek. Yeah. So as we, as we fondly close today's segment of, of Facebook Friday, we wish you all a safe and happy 4th of July. Don't blow off your fingers. Don't drink and drive. Don't touch the armadillo's toe pad. Yes. All those are good advice. All those are good advice. Happy 4th of July. Happy 4th of July.